<laughs> I can see you, Janelle, but you, it, it, they can't see you writing, sweetie, unless you go into the group and then hit the live from the group. But I can see you. Hi, Janelle. I can see you, but Judy can't see you. Okay, so we don't have to use the zip tie gun today. <laughs> All right, so this sign came from Personalize It by Pam, and it's a red truck, and it's got the white Christmas theme. This came from Craft Outlet. Now, what I want to do is I kind of want to do like a mixed... Hi, Janelle. Now I see Janelle watching. Hi, sweetheart. So this is what I wanted to do. We're going to add mesh, plus we're going to add the fur ties, all right? These came from Craft Outlet. And let me see. Because I have some smaller ones, too. I wanted to see the difference in the type. And honestly, all right. So the difference is these are a little bit lighter. So it depends on what color you want to use for your green. I actually like the darker ones, and you get 22 of these versus 10. Hi, Miss Beth. And Miss Beth, uh, the sign came from Pam, and I know that you love the truck. So this is going to be really awesome today. So we're going to be using these ties to mix into the white, okay? And this came from Craft Outlet, and I put the item number up for you. This came from Miss Pam. Plus, we're going to be mixing in these sprays. These sprays came from Craft Outlet. Plus, remember the white and black mesh? I cut only 10 pieces and 14 inches, okay? So red trucks, too. All right, the item number for the spray is, I'm going to put it down, the item number I put for the swag further up, Miss uh, Beth, this is item number, and this is for your, uh, the spray. Alright, and it is I S B 7 3 1 7 5. There we go. All right, and that's for, yes, yeah, spray. All right. Move this over. Plus, I have another spray, but I'm not sure. I actually think that would be too much. All right, so I cut our mesh into 14 inches, and I got 10 pieces, because we don't want to put too much of this mesh in and take away from the white. All right? And this is the whole reason why I did the white. It's the white with the black in it. And it's the poly, it's the new poly burlap that they got at a uh, craft outlet. I'll have to look that up and put it up for y'all. And all this is, is going to do is just make it a little fatter up here. All right. Now this door swag, and I put the number down, has a actual round holder here. So we're going to take it and just right in here just a little bit we do not want too much because we don't want to take away from the white christmas type thing all right so i skip one and then go to your second and third one so skip one your second and third there you go this has a it has um it's gonna be pretty i'm excited there we go just enough to just widen it up, give it a little bit of the black and white out of the sign, all right? Not too much. We may not even use all pieces that I cut because I don't want, see, I don't want too much in this. I'm going to kind of move some of these up, all right? I'm kind of moving these up. So I got one, two, three up. One, two, three, four up. Five and six. Twist. Over to this side. Four, five, and six. Twist. 
light. We just, we want a little bit just to give it that highlight. And remember, black and white together is actually really classy. It's a classy piece. It's gonna be a classy, classy piece. There we go. Here we go. Two, three, and two, three. So I'm going to go here, since it's getting thinner, we're going to go three up, and then four and five, we're going to put a piece of mesh, okay? Remember, it starts to go smaller in the width as you go down. So you're not putting anything in the inside. Leave your ties a little bit open, all right? Because we need that. This is actually going to be beautiful. And it's a truck, Miss Beth. I promise trucks. We got lots of trucks. <laughs> I, we got lots and lots and lots of Christmas trucks this year. So I'm, I am excited. I did a lot of Christmas trucks last year, too. So one, two, three, four, five. Same thing here. Because remember, you're starting to narrow down. Then one, two, one, two. Goes up in the center. So this is going to kind of thicken it up. Like a white Christmas. We're doing a white Christmas. 10 by 14. my first white swag we have um, we'll be doing an all white actual fur Christmas wreath too we will I think I'm gonna do it in white and turquoise with that one all right so we're gonna go down because this is starting to go down now remember if you want to put your bow you put your bow down here so this piece is always down. That one, two. So we got one up. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I use exactly 10 pieces, and that's all I want. I don't want any more. Right? Because it's going to ruin it. It's perfect. Push that up. So exactly 10 pieces. Five on each side. Cut at 10 by 14. And it's black and white. Real pretty. Beautiful. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add some green. Kind of give it that like Christmas tree look with some green in. You're just going to take yourself some needles. Just add it in. Don't be afraid to add it in. All I'm going to do is just put it to this side here. I'm just going to leave them up. That's all I'm doing. You'll see. You shall see. So basically we got 10 again. Okay. This is just going to give it some little greenery in it. But remember, I'm, all I'm doing is just putting them in. But we have other stuff we're putting in. So 
or 10. I may add more. Depends, because we got plenty more. We want to see where we want our sign. add some more of the other in it as we get through it. About right there. I have some leaves too. We have some white leaves. Some red balls. Some little red trucks. And I have ribbon. We're going to put this first. Boy, my room's a mess. There we go. You only need two. I want to see something before I cut that. loose. Oh, that one came loose. Good. I'm trying to see. No, that's not going to work. Oh, that's a rip. Door swags are one of the easiest things to make, so don't be intimidated. They're actually easy. They're not hard. However, what I like to do is tie it. Right on to a piece of fur. We have lights too. Oh, we got two lights. house call. I wonder if it's Mayo calling me. They've been all calling today. So. Field day with the hospitals. There we go. One. Two. The lights are going to be your last thing you're going to put in right now. We're just building it up. So, what we're going to do with this is we're going to take pieces out. This is really beautiful. And you might be able to do it with just one spray. And I may not use the leafy parts of the other white one. I don't know. I like it. So 
So this is a spray and basically we're taking it apart. We're placing it in. Now I do like to place it before I put it in glue. Okay, because this is plastic. This is going to be fun, 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 fun. All right. So we want to kind of place this up. And remember, we have this greenery in here for a reason. Let's move this down now. I'm going to start placing this in. I think I'm going to take my hot glue, maybe, with this one. Make it. Put this in here. These are longer and thinner, so they kind of, without taking away from your white and overdoing it with the white, kind of overlapping it, getting it some green in with it. We can still have our light overlapping this. I am going to put glue on it, don't worry. Really. I just like to see where I'm putting everything. That's just my thing. I'll put a little bit of snow down here. You want to make sure that this is dry before you put your lights in, too. Just a little bit of red. It's a little bit, but not too much. See how these are we're using these? And it goes with it. Yes, it does. Once you get it where you want it, <laughs> you have to add some glue, okay? We kind of want this where you're having your white. We don't want to cover the white up too much because that's the whole point of having white. But we still have our greenery in here. 
with a sparkle of red. This is what I have so far. I think I'm going to put maybe a couple, a couple of the leaves in it. Just a couple. Um, let me cut a piece off. It's not, I mean, they're frosted. Um, it makes it look. Let me see. Every year, I get frosted. Yeah, just a few. Just a few. Not a lot. That's really, really beautiful. Every year, I buy these every single year. We used them last year in our winter wonderland in our centerpiece, the deer. Actually, I used them in quite a bit. But this is one of their new colors. It's more like a, a frosted. It's an off-white. So you're still going to see it without it covering where it's kind of like a frosted going through it. Maybe a couple here. Maybe, maybe, maybe. These are craft outlet too. Now, the hard part is gluing it. <laughs> there we go. So these are the easiest things to make is to actually make a swag. Do not be afraid to make a swag. Okay, so dip it in your glue. Remember that this is gonna melt right to it. I kinda want it right here under the sign, okay? this, even though I have it wrapped, I still want it glued. Same thing, here's the other piece. I don't want it. I'm going to take this part out. Move my green out. Here. Just glue it onto it. Dip this. That's why we have the green in it. So we're not hurting the white. We're not gluing down all the pretty white. Basically using the green ties. Making it beautiful. There we go. My tie came loose. This one's a little bit different. Go 
clean inside. You need to make sure that you have enough stuff to put your lights around. You don't kind of want to use the green up, right? Not the white. Green. Green tie. And it looks like it's part of it growing out. It actually adds to it. There we go. I want this in here, but I want more of this white. So I'm going to take the tie that's here. Take this. We still have more stuff. <laughs> we still have more stuff. This is beautiful. And I may not add too much red in it. I want to put some red, but enough to highlight it, not hurt it. All right, so we got that. Look at this part. Oop. Yes, it's stem. Remember, we're just doing stem. I'm going to leave that to last because this is the big one. Take your stems out. It's fine. An idea, anyway. Let's take a bit more. Stem, 
kind of changing it just a bit. Yes. Okay. You go off a little course sometimes. I don't want to do that. There we go. Not too much glue. All right. There we go. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop just a tad bit. A tad, tad, tad bit. Dollar Tree, everybody. There we go. This is going to give it a little extra. I actually cut this this string off so. Little details that people like. Um, three dollar trees. Four for a dollar. Not too much, but just a little bit. Cut the strings off. Bo's going to ruin this pretty one. I think lights, some red, a couple of red balls. Let's see. I think a ribbon is actually going to take away from this whole thing. Again, we're going to use just, just a little bit, not too much, because you don't want to ruin it either. And we have lights. But I honestly think, I think, I think, I think, <laughs> I think we're going to go with Just a couple pieces of red. Now remember, red truck, red pieces. Very little, not a lot. So you want to just hint it. This is why we have the green stems. Because guess where everything's going? on a green stem without ruining the white. There we go. And Oops, you're not, you're a different Thank you. I don't like this one. It's got a different it's got a different shine on it. You gotta make sure they're all the same. Sorry. 
it's got to all be the same that's kind of like a a flat there we go not a lot too much you can hurt it all right so we're gonna put some lights on this baby i'm gonna show you this but i do want to go over something with this particular piece you have to be very 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 careful a bow at the bottom right here is going to actually ruin it so what i will do is we've got a little truck here you can put a bow at the bottom but with this particular piece it's going to actually take away from it i have um i have some ribbon it's it's going to actually hurt it so what i will do down here we're going to put some uh, lights on this baby right here gonna take got my truck there kind of like to the side i'm gonna take another piece of this leaf to the side One more thing I want to put on it before we put our lights on. There we go. Well, there's one here and one here. That'll ruin it. It's a different type. Make sure you kind of stick to all the same stuff, too. Alright. There we go. So you don't want to put, if you put a bow at the bottom, everyone, you're going to actually ruin this one. And um, as you know, I have many, we have so many on here. Uh, I think we got five different ones. You got to look because I did an Easter one. I did two Christmas one. We did fall. There's a whole bunch of swags that I've done. And you got to remember that not every swag gets a bow all right sometimes you will actually hurt hurt it with the ribbon and this is one of those pieces and I have another we'll be making another swag everybody don't worry I got more than I want to do um, this is one of those pieces that will actually be ruined uh, with the bow Alright, so let me get this out first. These are our remote control lights that I told everyone to get. There's four in a pack. There's 60 lights. Oh my God. This is the one thing so bad. <laughs> go at the top the battery pack not at the bottom all right so now we're going to put our lights in and i have them on one well let's get it on one setting right now let's get it to me really fast so i can see them because i don't want to not see them see. right 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 There we go. Pull it out, Carmen. Make sure you pull the thing out. All right, here we go. All right. I'm going to take this. There's 60 lights. Do not be greedy with the lights. You have plenty. Them in the light underneath. Do not be afraid to move them in around. My son, 
You can hear him laughing. I hear my son. At least he's laughing. Please don't tell me. Do not dump her. Mad at me. Alrighty. My lights. I started from the top. Thumper and Ginger. Stop it. Or sometimes you don't pull them out just right, they can be challenging. Bumper right. and ginger, chill. I pulled it out the wrong way. Make sure you don't pull it, it try to pull it in the wrong way. Hey, the last one I did great. This one doesn't like me. You don't like me. have scissors in your room. <laughs> yeah. Carmen learned that too. I've cut so many lights with scissors, it's not even funny. And that's exactly what I did with these. I pulled it out the opposite way. There you go. Mm -hmm. right here. Thump. Thumper, you want your treat? You're going to stop. Old man with old woman not being nice today. The two seniors. He's got this thing. He was in here earlier when we were on YouTube. They did really good, actually. Um, but that's Thumper is Chris's, my husband's dog, and Ginger's mine. They're six months apart, but they must be fighting. You know, she must have a bone in here. That's what they're fighting over. That's what they're fighting over. I didn't get, I didn't bring them snacks in here. She buried her bone. Uh oh. -uh. Alrighty, I think I got it. Wait, well, I think we got it. I think not. Stop it, sweeties. And I miss my husband. This is what Chris does. If I get my lights all stuck, my husband is wonderful at this. 
apartments not so much. Been missing. I miss my love. So because I'm sick, they did let him email me. And all the email that I got was that his beard was growing nice and thick. I guess they're in a beard contest right now. <laughs> He's on the old goat team. You guys are going to laugh at this. Alright, so I think I told you this before. They are on, the, they're on this exercise team. And you win money at the end of the tour on who uh, does the most exercise. And he's anyone over 40. The team is called the Old Goat. Apparently, he said that the newbies got sick. And now they all call him Dr. Phil. <laughs> I was like, okay. You're Dr. Phil. Because like, he counseled. He's like the counselor. He's Dr. Phil. He's on the old goat team. <laughs> He's on the old goat team. He's growing his beard. He's growing him very nicely. They're having a contest on who can grow the nicest beard. And apparently, he's bald on his head, which we all know that. The man is going bald at 19. But he can grow a beard. Um, they're not allowed to have beards unless they're underway. So, y'all can laugh about it. He's Miss Dr. Phil. The kids call him Dr. Phil. He's on the old goat team. The old goat team. <laughs> it's actually quite funny. The old goat team. He's on the old goat team. The kids call him Dr. Phil. And his beard is the nicest so far. So that made me laugh. Because he only got special liberty. And who knows when I'll hear from him again. Special liberty to keep up with my medical. Um, so I was able to tell him, you know, what was going on, cat scan and all this other stuff. Basics, yeah. Everything will be done by the time he gets home. Not to worry. We're all doing good. So y'all see him when he comes back. You can call him Dr. Phil. I'll get it. That'll be funny. And how's that old goat team? Did y'all win? <laughs> Dr. Phil. Old goat. And he has a nice beard. From what he says. Alrighty. This is crazy. Alrighty. I have patience for this. Carmen has patience. I really don't. I just want to cut them up and throw them out, but you're not going to throw away expensive lights. I really want to throw them out. And I miss Chris. Chris is the one who does this. Almost there. So, as you can see, this was easily mangled up just by pulling that little wire the wrong darn way. It's almost at the very end, so there we go. We're almost there. So 
I told you these lights are a great deal. The remote control, there's four in a pack. This is a super white that I put up. Yay! Awesome! We fixed it. Awesome. Oh. Oh. Almost fixed. You know what? You can just be like that because you're going in here. Alright. Let's take this and go ahead and put this through the hoop. Loop. We have two right here. This is your loop here. It's remote control. Make sure this is nice and good to hold it down. Alright, now let's tweed this in. There we go. And Remember, you got plenty of lights, so you don't have to like wrap them all in one, all right? Remember, this is white. Put them inside your fur. Throw the lights out the door. But it'll be alright. Don't be afraid to use this, right? Also, try to get it to go all the way in. Remember, you have this fur for a reason. It's going to go back up because there's plenty. Get it into the white fur. going to eliminate... I definitely want it down here. Almost done, Ginge. It's all right. Almost done, love.
see how much life there is. There's plenty. Remote control. Got your different switches here. One, two, right, seven. There's also a timer on here. Right. So there's off, on, there's eight. There's, or it's not so bright, you can dim them, and then there's a timer, and you can actually set the timer to. You can set the timer to 10 minutes, 12 minutes, 14 minutes, an hour. Alright. Awesome! This is beautiful. I'm actually very happy with this. Very happy. Right? So do you guys like it? Hi, Justine! I love it. I think that it turned out beautiful. I do not think it needs a bow. I think the bow would actually ruin this. Alright. This hangs from the back. Push it to the back. See the back? So it ha you have a hanger here. That's part of your reef. It's right here. And then your battery operated is behind it. And it's gorgeous. All right, you got to touch your bread in it. You got your lights. That's it. I love it, love it, love it. Alrighty. Well, Miss Beth, I hope you like this, sweetheart. Because I know you love trucks. Everybody loves trucks. This is really, 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 really beautiful. This is classy, beautiful, touch of class. Sign is from Pam. I used two sprays from um, <laughs> Craft Outlet. I put the I put the item number of the um, door swag. I put the item number of the two sprays we cut up to put in here. When you go under there, tinsel, uh, tinsel stems for the green stems. And you don't have to have the green stems. I like the green stems so you're not using up all your white. All right. All right. Well, thank you, Miss Janelle. You got to see two today, love. I love you. Yay. Well, I hope y'all enjoy it. Justine, I put up, this is not hard, Justine. Um, this is actually easy. The hardest part for me was the lights. <laughs> You can watch replay. The sign came from Personalize It by Pam, everybody. Justine, it's a white, it's a pure white door swag. And if you go on replay, scroll up, and the item number's on here on the tutorial, okay? And then there's two sprays that I cut up to put in here. I took some red balls from Dollar Tree and put those in. And this is, um, gosh, I forget, these are like white leaves. Those are also from Craft Outlet. But you guys can do this in any color. The mesh is from Craft Outlet. We use the same mesh we used before on another wreath. All right. You guys like? Yay. Elegant. This is elegant. This is very beautiful, very elegant. Um, black and white. You can do black and white if you wanted to do green instead of red. But remember, there's a red truck in there. So we kind of wanted to highlight the truck. All right. All righty. Okay. 